Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another T&I toy review. And today's review is in association with JediInsider.com, your number one news source for everything Star Wars. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter vehicle from Hasbro. Now this ship is part of the vintage collection, so you get the box that's made to look like the old Kenner products. You've got the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker logo up at the top, which looks kind of like the old Empire Strikes Back logo. Then you've got an image of the actual toy. They've created a scene, looks like it's in the forest, and they have some figures standing in front of it. The figures are not included with the ship. And then down below that, you even have the Kenner logo and an image of the ship showing the S-foils open. When you look at the sides of the packaging, it just shows off various features of the vehicle. So nothing uh, too exciting there. And then the back side of the packaging is exactly the same as the front. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the vehicle after you've taken it out of the box. So you can see there is some minor assembly required. You've got the nose cone up here, which you'll have to attach. And then you get the wings that are packaged here. The rest of it is uh, basically strapped up to the back of this cardboard insert. And then you also get an instruction manual so it shows you how to put everything together. Okay, so now I've got all the pieces laid out. Putting this together is pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is just take the nose cone and slide it on the front here and it should just snap into place. And then with the wings, with the wings, this gets a little trickier. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the larger wings with the orange on it and you're gonna slide these into these back grooves here. You wanna make sure that this piece that's sticking out here is facing towards the ship and it should just slide into place. And then with the blue pieces, uh, the smaller wing pieces, they're going to go in the front here. And with these, you want to make sure that this groove is facing downward. So basically, you're going to, um, and there's a little, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little groove uh, piece that sticks out that you're going to want to slide this into. And the wings basically, you know, it forms one wing. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. Make sure that again the little groove is facing downward and should pop into place and then final thing you want to do is take the wing cannons and there's two that have smaller holes and then two that have larger holes so the larger hole ones are going to go on the top wings and then the smaller ones are going to go on the bottom wings and you basically just kind of press them down and then once you've snapped on the wing cannons your x-wing is fully assembled Okay, now that we've got the ship fully assembled, let's go over all the features that are included with it. And they've actually packed it with quite a few. Some are familiar from previous X-Wings, like opening up the wings. Now on this one, what you wanna do is you got the two buttons on the back of the ship here. You wanna push the one that is closer to the canopy and the wings will just pop open. And you know, it actually works really well. Sometimes the wings don't always open great on these X-Wing fighters, but with this one, you, know, you definitely have some nice width between the two wings, which is nice. And then to get them to go back, what you wanna do is hit the button closest to the back of the ship and they just pop closed. We also get landing gear. So you get the traditional front landing gear foot. And with this one, what you wanna do is you just pop open these little doors and you pull out the landing gear and you've got the front foot is articulated so you want to pull extend it outward and you even have some nice detailing inside here with like you know the sculpting detail it looks like actual metal and everything in there so i like that little extra detail now i will note with the front landing gear in mind it is a little bit loose so um you know once you set it down the weight will hold it in place but again, with mine at least, it, it's a little bit loose and will have easily fall backwards. And then you also, which is something unusual, is you get back landing gear. Normally we just get the front landing gear with the X-Wings, but they've actually included back landing gear. So you can pop open these doors. And again, you have some nice sculpting detail on the underside of these doors and everything. Now I will note that pulling out these landing gear pieces, if you have fat fingers like me, can be a little bit difficult. So you might wanna get something to assist you to pull these out um, yeah again yeah it's really up to you but you want to pull them out like that and one thing I want to know about these back landing gear is they just pop into place and I've had a tendency with this one to kind of just fall out 
So, you know, it's not a big deal, but just be wary of that. It pops right back into place, but again, it, it has had a tendency a few times to actually fall out when, when I've been playing with it. Now, another feature that's on the bottom of the ship is they've given you a ladder that you can use so your figure can climb into the cockpit. So you've got a little storage door here that you can just pop open. It swings open and then you've got the ladder that's inside here and it's a separate piece. You just pull it out and then you've got these holes up here and you just plug the ladder in. Now you can see that on the one end of the ladder, it kind of curves and you want to make sure those curves are facing you know, outward and that's how you plug it in. And then you basically, you set it down. You also want to make sure your landing gear are extended when you have the ladder in there and now your figure can climb into the cockpit. Now, how exactly he gets the ladder back into the storage area, if he's by himself once he's climbed into the cockpit, I really don't know. I guess, you know, that's when the force comes in handy, assuming you're, you're a Jedi. And of course, the canopy does open, you know, like we see with all the X-Wings, you can just lift it up. You've got the clear plastic for the windows and it just snaps into place when you want to close it. Now, one thing that's a little bit different with this one is to make it easier, I guess, to get figures in it. They've actually made it so you can lift up the front console piece, which is kind of interesting. So you can fit a varied uh, size of figures. So I've got Poe Dameron. This is actually from The Force Awakens. I haven't gotten the Rise of Skywalker Poe Dameron yet but let's see how well he fits in here and you've got a little uh, joystick throttle um, which is made with a rubber type material and you've got some sculpting detail on the floor I don't know how well that shows up you've got the seat just the one seater and he's got some pedals looks like they've sculpted some pedals in there or something and then you've got a little sticker on the console there that looks like it has a TIE fighter and then what you want to do is lift this up put your figure in there and sit him in there make sure the joystick is between his legs and he does actually fit in there pretty good now again this is the force awakens poe dameron this is the one from i believe it was the black series so it does have actual articulation but you can see it actually does fit in there well and you can close the canopy nice and tight and if you have five points of articulated figures they'll fit in here as well and again, you just pop this down and close it and snap shut. And again, you know, those figures fit nice and tight. I forget this guy's name. He died in Force Awakens and then seemed like he was alive again in Last Jedi. Or maybe it was just a dude that looked just like him. I don't know. And just for one more, I even was able to squeeze old Jake Porkins in there. A bigger figure. So they've definitely given you some nice room in this cockpit. Now, besides a place for your human pilot, they've also included a spot for your astromech droid or whichever kind of droid, your, your BB droid or whatever. So with this one, you probably want to use a, a BB-8 figure. And the way they've done it is you pop this piece off and then you just slide your droid in there. So it's kind of fitted for either a BB droid or an actual astromech droid, like an R2-D2. And either one will fit in here, which is nice. So I like that they've given you the ability to do multiple droids. But again, for, for Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing, you're probably gonna wanna use BB-8 and he'll fit in there. And then again, you put this piece down and it snaps into place. And again, you've got some nice sculpting detail on the floor plates there. Uh, there's not really any controls or anything. They didn't really put any controls in there for the droid but you do have a little bit of sculpting detail on, on the actual floor there. And one final feature they've included, I guess if you had engine problems, they've made it so on the left wing here, you can actually remove the engine cover. You just use your fingers and pry it open. Again, you've got some nice sculpting detail on the underside with the plating, and then you've also got some nice sculpting detail with the actual engine. So they've just used this metallic silver throughout the entire, a little bit darker color here, I guess up on this piece. And this piece you can actually lift out, so I guess if you wanted to do some repair work, you know, they made it so you could actually take that part out which is kind of nice but definitely kind of you know a cool feature and again it's only on the left wing so you can't remove the engine cover on the right wing if the right wing has problems i guess you're just sol okay now for the vehicle itself so first of all 
if you're wondering, this is a much better made vehicle than the one we got, the Poe Dameron X-Wing that we got for the Force Awakens, which was really kind of a cheap piece of junk. Now it is, uh, this new vehicle is, is much more expensive. It's going to cost you about a hundred bucks, but it is definitely a, a sturdier plastic. The laser, uh, the wing cannons are fairly straight out of the packaging and you've got nice detailing with the paint applications and everything. So again, a much improved version than, than this Poe Dameron X-Wing that we got for the Force Awakens. And it's a good size too. It's bigger than the Force Awakens X-Wing. So it measures, if you count from the tip of the nose to the back of the engine, right about 20 inches, I would say. Yeah, right about 20 inches. And then height-wise, if you had the landing gear extended, it comes up just under four and a half inches tall. Now you've got some nice paint detail on this as well. So first of all, they've given it a wash so it looks like it's actually dirty. It's not pristine clean. So you can see here like on the tip, it's much darker. And then you've just got this kind of dirt wash throughout the entire vehicle, which is nice. You got some nice sculpting detail where you can actually see like an actual laser cannon sculpted inside there. You don't just have the indentation. You can see more uh, markings here, dirt markings and stuff. And like here on the front of the wings. You can also uh, make out the engines. You've got some sculpting detail on the actual engines there. Let me shine some light in there so you can see it. So I like that detail. You've got the metallic silver on the front of the engines. And then you've got the sky blue stripe here. You've got the blue on the wings and then back here as well. You've got the dark gray on the back of the engines. You've got this metallic color up here on the top. And again, you can see just some nice uh, wash effect. So it all looks like dirty and looks like the ship has actually seen some battle. And you've got nice sculpting detail and everything. Yeah, this is actually one of the nicer X-Wing toys that they've made. You know, not counting the ones that had electronics and stuff in them. You know, I definitely think this is one of the better ones they've done. You've got some detailing back here. Again, a lot of dirt. And then you've got this. I always used to think as a kid this was supposed to be like a door or something. I don't know. But this one, it's done with a dark metallic silver. And again, you've got some nice sculpting detail. And you got some nice sculpting detail on the back here with the wings. So again, you know, very nicely detailed with this one. And definitely it's very sturdy, a very sturdy plastic. You don't have to worry about it being warped or breaking or what have you. And once again, here's a comparison between the original Force Awakens Poe Dameron X-Wing and the new one. And you can see how much bigger this new one is. And again, I just can't stress enough about how much more nice looking this new one is over the previous one. And then here's a comparison with Poe Dameron's TIE Fighter, which I think was a really great toy that Hasbro did for Last Jedi. It's one of the nicest new vehicles that we've gotten in a long time. And I think these two size up pretty good with one another. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I really like this vehicle. I think it's very well made. The paint applications on it are really nice. You've got some nice features. The canopy is a really good size. And this is one of the better made X-Wing fighters I think they've done in the line. Now, the landing gear, on mine at least, the front one is a little bit loose and the back ones have a tendency to fall off easily. So that's really my only minor complaint other than you might say it is a little bit on the pricey side. It does cost about a hundred bucks. But again, I think this is a very well well made ship with some really nice paint applications and you know if you're a fan of the x-wing design you'll probably want to check this one out now they're also doing uh, an x-wing from the original trilogy for luke which i'm assuming is probably going to use the same mold they just are going to repaint it with luke's colors and everything so if you'd rather have an original trilogy x-wing you might want to wait for that one this one is available everywhere the luke one is going to be limited only at certain places are going to carry it but this one should be available any place that sells star wars toys We'll have a full image gallery up at JediInsider.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.